Hey, 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 good morning, America. Well, that sounds kind of cool when I say it like that. Hey, it's Randy with the King of Solar Screens. Part three of how to build your own solar screens. Today, we're going to focus on archwork. Now, there's a lot of great companies throughout the country to get your arches made and shipped directly to your home, whether it's through us at windowscreensmanufacture.com or one of my favorites is Quality Window Screens, which is up in Dallas. Also fantastic. And uh, you got Metro Screenworks out in Denver, Colorado as well. Uh, again, all dot coms, they'll build your arches for you and ship them directly to your door. So here's what we do. This is the most common arches, and forgive me on my rudimentary, if you will. I didn't want to go around all over the state looking at different arches and having to pause and you know the videos. But the most common arches are half moon, nice tapered top, a quarter round, and of course my favorite, the window all in one which I have on display here to my right. And I want to make one thing clear. When we build our arches, I like to have spline pointing in because I like that nice clean look pointing out. And plus, I believe also that if the spline were to pop out at all, it would be hidden so that it would stay in place and wouldn't unravel and of course come undone. But you'll notice I have my rivets on both the top and the bottom of the arch in order to make a nice clean tight joint. Now, we specifically only put these rivets on the back. I never do the front unless it's requested. And the reason is, and I'm going to have you focus in here on my hand, these rivets are a very cheap metal, if you will. They're not aluminum. They're a cheap metal. Uh, so as time goes on, they will begin to rust and probably rot and fall apart. So by pointing them in, in my opinion, the weather never gets to it, so they'll never be exposed and you'll never have anything rusting. Uh, since we're already using a galvanized screw, and some places actually are using a, uh, uh, an aluminum screw. What am I thinking of? A stainless steel screw. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, whether it's painted or just plain, it's up to you. But how do we measure said arches? Let's start with the most common, the half moon. Always measure the dead width and then the center height. Because it's a perfect half circle, and then the machines that we use, as well as the other companies like Quality, Window Screens, and uh, Metro Screenworks, it's always going to be a perfect circle. So you only need those two measurements. For this style of screen, which is a very large common, you always, again, need your width. I need my short leg height, and almost always the left and the right are identical, but check it just in case that particular window company guy decided to have a few too many lunch margaritas and made one taller. Then the exact center <laughs> of it as well. Quarter round, same thing. I need the dead center height and the width, and then measure out in order to get where that perfect arch will overlay. Very easy, very simple. And then finally, the one that's on display here, we always have our width. You have the height right up to where that arch starts, which in this case is right here. I'm going to guess this to be about 60 inches. Then, from there, you measure dead center. And again, a good quality company, again, with quality screens, window screen manufacturers, Metro Screenworks, will know exactly how to bend that, package it, ship it directly to your home, making it as easy as it can be for you as the homeowner to build your own archwork, or at least have someone else build it for you. But you can measure it, taking all the guesswork out of it. As always, we always ask you if you have any questions, email us, kingofsolarscreensgmail.com, the back end of our website, which is info at windowscreenmanufacturers.com, or you can give us a call here at the office. Our cell phones are all out there on the internet. Feel free to call us if you have any questions, but Arch Work is that easy, and we love it. Have a blessed day.